Alright, we've got some CVC brake action uh, rifle. Well, one's a rifle, one's a shotgun. I've been looking online for videos about these particular rifles and there's really not too much information about them. There are a few of them getting around and they're quite affordable. Uh, and the first one that I saw that came up was this 3220. I got given a whole heap of 3220 ammunition and I didn't actually have a rifle to uh, to shoot it with so you know I had a gun under them so I had to uh, find a 3220 and this one here I it came with no no rear sight so I purchased a marbles rear sight for it and it's actually got a uh, a peep on the rear it's uh, a really nice sight picture I have done a review of this site on my blog, thefirearmadventures.com. So, and it just gives you a bit of a rundown on all the sighting options and stuff that are actually available. Uh, so, in 3220, it's a nice little round. It's uh, originally was 32 caliber over 20 grains of black powder, but now we run uh, smokeless powders. These are all hand loads running trail boss powder and I think there's around about two and a half grains of trail boss so this is just a really light clinking load so we'll shoot a few of those now this one is a CBC brake action shotgun basically the exact same design just in a little bit larger action to break the rifle to break the rifle and this shotgun you've got a button in front of the trigger you pull it open it up and just slide your rounds in and simple case of pulling it back cocking the hammer and then uh, letting it go so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll take a few shots with the cbc so these are model 151s cbc model 151s so they were also sold as in the states as kmart guns so uh, so the kmart brake action shotguns they're actually made in Brazil and they're not not the best quality you know they're probably not the same as a Winchester or a, a Beretta or a Browning etc but you know for its intended purposes to be you know a good cheap firearm that gets the job done you probably can't go wrong with one of these so what we've got we've got some six shot here and we've got a whole heap of slugs so we'll take a few shots and we'll just put a few into some of these drums that are just down close to begin with. Knock that one flying straight away. So, as you saw, <coughs> this has an ejector. So you open up the gun and the cable, the empty cartridge, the empty shell comes flying out the back. So uh, really good if you want to do a quick reload because you don't have to actually pull it out by hand. So let's knock over another one. Good fun, does the job every time. So what we've got here, we've got a whole heap of one ounce slugs. These are loads that I've loaded myself. And I've, cause I'm really into bullet casting. So I've got a few different uh, slug molds. And yeah, it's, it's a hell of a lot cheaper to make them rather than buying them. So I've got a gong down the range there. It's very small. I'll see if I can land some on it from, from here. Ooh. Well, it was so good, it absolutely sent my gong flying, and that's what I was actually going to shoot at with the 3220. So, I've just completely torn it off its rubber, rubber mount, so ejector, gotta love it. Anyway, we've still got some drums down here. It leaves a mighty big hole. One ounce slugs. They definitely do the job. 
This barrel is getting really warm. Lucky last. It's putting some mighty big holes in those drums. So, we'll sit that one down for a bit. Now this one, the 3220, it's a lot lighter. It's a lighter action, uh, quite nice. When I got these, they looked in pretty ordinary condition. It's as if they'd been farm guns that had been knocked around for years and years. So, I've actually uh, refinished the timber on these. I'll bring it closer so you can see. Uh, absolutely lovely timber and so there's a few dings that I couldn't actually get out couldn't steam them out but um, yeah it's a linseed oil finish and I think it's the best finish that you can have on a firearm basically because if you do ding it up or something like that you'll scratch it you can sand it reapply the finish and it blends in perfectly so Exactly the same principle, same model of gun. Brake action, load it in. I've got a drum down there. This one does have an ejector as well, but because I reload, I don't really want to send them flying miles away, so I don't have to pick them up. It's, uh, these loads are very light. Very similar to what you know, shooting a, a 22 would be. I'll see if I can hit the gong that's weighing on the stop. It's just low. I'll show you quickly just how far these ones fly back. <laughs> High that time. High again. That was a hit. Another hit. Yeah, it's not often that you shoot at a gong that's actually laying in the dirt. Very high. Whoops. Another hit. Very simple guns. They're another hit. They're very, very nice to shoot. So we're at around about 30 meters from the target here. And yeah, this is uh, certainly a nice little load for shooting at short distances. At 100, it'll probably be a little bit, a uh, little bit underpowered. Went high. We'll put a few more through. Just low. One more for the hell of it, and then we'll give you a good look at these guns. And I missed. So there they are, CBC, brake action 12 gauge shotgun and brake action 3220. Very, very cheap. You can generally find these guns for under $100. And for those of you who are lucky enough to live in the US, you'll probably find them for $30, $40, and $50. So, well, that's the CBCs. And uh, make sure you uh, check out the firearmadventures.com and please subscribe to the channel.